soft-coated Wheaton Terriers were not introduced to the States until the 1960s. And never before has a dog been on such a fast track to popularity. Within only a few years, they were named Best Apartment Dog in New York Magazine. And to this day, they haven't lost their acclaim. It's probably one of the top five most popular dogs in New York City. Maybe this is why they're known as the most lovable of all terriers. And all terrier owners know the Wheaton Greeton. Interestingly, when the adults sustain a skin injury, the fur grows back brown like a bruise before returning to that Wheaton glow. The Wheaton Terriers are really outgoing, bouncy, playful dogs. Known for their spunk and lightheartedness, their fluffy coat and terrier build say it all. Let's say it's a guy and a girl who's getting the dog. The girl can feel like she's gotten herself the fluffy, cute dog, but the guy can feel like he's gotten a dog that's manly enough. While certainly the neighborhood jester, they do have energy, and it needs to be released. It's a dog that is extremely high energy, very, very bouncy. Originally the beloved dog of Ireland, Wheatons were the working dog of the working class. Forbidden to own hounds, the common people put the terriers to work. They're originally bred to be farm dogs, used for herding, hunting small vermin. The Wheaton joins the Kerry Blue, the Irish, and the Glen of Emall as the fourth terrier of Irish descent. The modern Wheaton is medium sized with long terrier legs. Of course, if you get a Wheaton as a pup, the name can be deceiving. This is because Wheatons are born a rusty brown. It's only as they outgrow their puppy stage that their hair turns that gorgeous Wheaton blonde. And as this happens, they develop this soft, luscious coat. Most terriers have this harsh, kind of rough, broken coat, but not the Wheatons. The Wheatons have a very soft, silky kind of coat. Wheatons have a single soft coat that feels more like silk than dog hair. Imagine your favorite teddy bear in the world come alive. It's that soft, and they're that snuggly, too. Atop this soft teddy bear of a pup is a long blonde tuft of hair. They have this thing called a fall, and it's this big piece of hair that hangs down over their eyes. They also have a long beard under their chin, giving these terriers a unique look. And hidden under their bangs and beard is the telltale terrier trait, the teeth. Yes, as soft and sweet as this pooch is, it has those terrier fangs. <laughs> Turns out you can breed the aggression out faster than you can the fangs. And boy, is that ever true. These pups are more leprechaun than fighting Irish. Or in some cases, more magical moisha. Tobola is Toby's Jewish name, actually. Um, he eats herring, kibble. Meet Toby, the kosher dog. And just to reinforce the kosher, he loves his toys, like Yenta and Moyle and Tukas. Just a lump of love. Toby is the Spitz's first son. Toby is our family. He is Leah's baby brother. Life is really great with Toby. He always makes me smile. This pup is Jewish through and through. He loves Jewish music when my husband plays on the piano. He just enjoys being a part of all the traditions that we have, and that makes him very special. And Toby is not the only one. Dogs are prominent in several religions. They're mentioned several times in the Christian Bible and were notoriously silent the night Moses led his people out of Egypt. Even Buddha had a little pooch. Toby's faith calls upon him to perform mitzvahs. When you cheer people up and you make people feel better, that's performing a mitzvah. Shalom, Toby. Kol achad. Shalom. In Toby's case, his good deeds are performed upon the many. Toby often goes to Leah's school to help in the classroom or in teaching Hebrew language study. And after school, he's one patient pup as the kids smother him with love. And although it seems like there could never be a more devout little mensch than Toby, check out Boomy, 
He has Toby beat by one thing. The preparation for the bar mitzvah was months of planning. You heard that right, bar mitzvah. Mark Nadler is a successful New York playwright who loves to put on a good party. So this massive rite of passage for his pooch was totally reasonable. Bar mitzvah boomy, it's your day. Happy bar mitzvah, happy bar mitzvah, happy bar mitzvah, it's my dog. Hey! <laughs> At 13, Jewish boys become adults and go through a rite of passage known as a bar mitzvah. And this was going to be no different for Bumi. People came to the bar mitzvah wearing dog paraphernalia. While not the only pup on earth to have a bar mitzvah, maybe the only one covered by the New York Times. It was sort of this magical event. It was probably the most important Jewish thing in my life. So whether all fun and games or for the purely pious, these pups have a soft spot for the spiritual. He wants to give kisses. And with Wheatons, there will never be a dull moment. As for climate, good news. Wheatons can do pretty well in pretty much any temperature, hot or cold. However, this gorgeous silky soft coat comes at a price. Wheatons require a tremendous amount of grooming. Wheatons shed very little, so you have to brush the hair out daily. While Whedons have such a merry disposition, they are really allergic to fleas. One bite can cause a reaction throughout the whole body. Another potential problem is protein wasting. They can't digest the proteins properly, and they actually start to lose weight. But when it comes to training, Whedons shine. They really like to play and interact with people. So if you're using play training and reward-based training, then they're pretty easy to train. Now, while you should never leave a dog alone with small children. If you have kids and you want the kids to occupy their time for a while, put them in the backyard with the Wheaton. They'll play for hours. So the Wheaton. As long as you keep the Wheaton well walked, they'll be good in any climate. Their flea allergy can be tedious. They need daily brushing. Put in the training time early but they're really good with families. These soft, cuddly, animated fur balls are as fun as they are adorable. Play with them every day and they never lose their magnetic puppy spirit. Still ahead on Dogs 101, this breed could be called one of the most loyal dogs in the world. And this could be the richest breed of all.